<laughs> Thanks, guys. I am hanging out here with Nils and his future CEO, Remy, from Creme de la Coco. And I just want to say, Remy, you are dressed so well. He's got his personalized chef hat. He is ready to go. He's like, when are we going, Dad? When are we going? I'm ready to show off. So thank you guys for hanging out with us again. Yeah, of course. Uh, pleasure to be here. Um, so we've got a couple of things that we're going to be uh, decorating for you. Uh, a couple Halloween items and everything we do. So this is some of the seasonal stuff. Uh, so the cake here. Hey, Rami, you can start decorating it. So this cake is the Witch Please cake. Uh, it's a six-inch cake, six inches tall. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. Cream. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you got to have a little bit of fun with it. Yep, put it in there and just get it down in like this so you don't see the arms. And then, uh, you know, you put a little bit of the Witch Legs and some sprinkles on there, and Chef Remy's going to go ahead and get that stuff ready for you. Um, some of the other items we have uh, that we're doing for Halloween, um, we'll, we'll move right over to this one right here. Uh, so down here we have the Fangtastic Red Velvet. Uh, it's a red velvet cake bar with cream cheese frosting on top. We've got our uh, eyeball chocolates here, which come in various flavors. We've got some salted caramel and some bourbon ball. How did you, wait, before we get into move on, how did you come up with these different <laughs> ideas? Because, I mean, you can come up with the flavors, but the de de decorative ingenuity, creativity. That's so, so honestly, uh, the beauty of this is um, we've got six people that work in the kitchen, and they actually came up with sort of the design of all these this year. Um, I didn't actually have a ton of the artistic input, okay. um, which, you know, it's a testament to them. You know, they're the reason we do great. Um, but, you know, they come up with these ideas, uh, you know, Sarah, Adrian, uh, Megan, Katie, all of them. Um, so, you know, we just kind of sit around, think about what we might want to do, and everybody sort of makes one. Um, and it just, it's better that way. There's a little sure. bit more flavor to it, a little bit more diversity, other than just whatever I think we should do, you know? Now show me this oatmeal pie, because I'm like, I'm right, a big Randy, fan, but you put a pie. twist on it that, oh yeah. yeah. So our oatmeal cream pies are our best selling item to begin with. Decorate it some more. Yeah, no problem. Um, so we, our oatmeal cream pies are our number one selling item. You can go ahead and put the apple filling in there. But this is a little bit of a, a twist on it. So what Remy's going to do is we do the oatmeal cream pie. We open it up. We add a little bit of apple pie filling right in the middle. Ooh. And then we take a little bit of the streusel. Take the streusel. And we put it on top of it. Right? And then what we do is we close it up. Go ahead. Push it down. And then what you get here is... Uh, it's an apple pie oatmeal cream pie, and when you break it in half, you get all the apple pie filling and everything in there, and it's fall apart soft. It's great. Um, this is the Vampire's Delight, which is a uh, chocolate raspberry dessert. So it's chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache, chocolate cake, raspberry jam, and a little bit of raspberry mousse filling. And then this is probably our seasonal favorite when pumpkin time comes around. This is the Smashing Pumpkin Pie. Um, it's got a shortbread crust, a vanilla bean, white chocolate mousse on it. Um, it's fantastic. People love it. You know, when it's around, it's around. Can we get these little yeah, novelties absolutely. here? So these are some little grabs that we've made this year. So this is Boo Bark. Uh, so it's got the ghosts in it. Um, we have the Italian rainbow cookie that's been adapted for Halloween. Um, we have our assorted eyeballs that we've got here. And then we've got some of our cotton candies. Uh, we've got a candy corn one and another one, uh, Halloween based one. And you know, we're just trying to make a bunch of different little things people can use. So they're always doing stuff year round, but to show their creativity, they're doing it big for Halloween. We're gonna be seeing more stuff, I'm sure, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Looking forward to that. Now, if you guys wanna find out more about what they have on their menu or some of their other creations, just go to cremedelacoco.com or you can just drop into the shop in St. Augustine. Remy, I'm gonna try that cookie you made. You put that love on there, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. All we're right, gonna try and cookie, Ram. <laughs> All right, we're going to have more River City Live right after this. Okay, I'm going to be loaded up on sugar. Say thank you. <laughs>